Are you safe living and working in New Haven? Brand new crime stats are out. Yeah, the results are mixed too. News 8's Aaron Logan live in New Haven tonight to break down the numbers for us. Aaron? Well, Darren and Ann, crime is down 9%, but murder is up 29%. That's why Chief Lamone says it's important to have increased foot patrol in neighborhoods like this New Hallville one where 85% of crime happens. People we talk to say there should be police presence everywhere, period. As Kim Abrams stares at the New Haven crime statistics report on her Edgewood Ave porch, she gets frustrated. No, I don't believe this. I really don't. She says she doesn't believe the positives. Rape, aggravated assault, burglary, and larceny are down. She and her neighbor Wendy Shaw do believe murder is up 29%. I have three to four gunshots a week, you know? Someone was shot in front of my building a month or two ago. Chief Frank Lamone and Mayor John DeStefano say increased police foot patrol and motorcycles is showing positive results. The community is providing us information. Uh, that's the reason why we're solving these um, homicides. Police say the most recent example is a murder scene right here on Clay Street Saturday. Trust from the community led to an arrest warrant. Anthony Brown says police have made it a point to make their presence known. Do you think that people will start to open up to the police because they see them around and they'll let them know who the bad guys are? Yeah, they, they should. They should. Yeah. It'd, it'd be a big help for them. Chief Lamone says the main goal is getting guns off the street. Shaw wonders if this is possible. Help kids find other activities to do so they don't involve themselves in drugs and gangs and they need some other outlet. Now I asked Chief Lamone about the FBI crime statistic from this past May saying that New Haven was the fourth most dangerous city in the country. He says you can look at those statistics and read them anyway. The bottom line, crime is down and the city is committed to getting guns off the streets. Live in New Haven, Aaron Logan, News 8.